Hello, I'm Jeff Elsted, the proud superintendent of the Owatonna Public Schools. I want to share with you the current state of the school district and the exciting things we have to look forward to as we continue building our future. What a great start to the 2022-23 school year. Having all of our students back in session and all of the activities in full swing is moving indeed. I can say that I will never take normal for granted again. The state of our district begins with our students. And I'm excited to share that our public schools in Owatonna continue to show strong enrollment numbers. This year, we have approximately 5,000 students enrolled in kindergarten through 12th grade. This includes 108 students enrolled in Owatonna Online, our fully accredited K-12 online public school open to any Minnesota student. We are back to charging fees for school breakfasts and lunches after the federal government provided free meals the last two years due to the pandemic. As a result, families again have to complete the application for benefits to receive free and reduced meals and other benefits. We currently have 46.6% of families receiving free and reduced lunches compared to the statewide average of 32%. We also know that more than 70 students in our district are experience, currently experiencing homelessness. Our school social workers do an amazing job of helping these students and many more families who are struggling to make ends meet through the Husky Pantry and other resources. If you're interested in learning more, contact a school social worker. As we build towards our future, we see the diversity of our student population growing. Across the district, 29.38% of our population are students of color. All of our students bring a wealth of personal experiences with them that enrich their fellow classmates. As an example, this is Nazia, a third grader at McKinley Elementary who speaks not one, not two, not three, not four, but five different languages. In this photo, she is sharing her gift of language with younger students. Diversity can also be measured in the paths that our students will take when they leave our schools. This adds to the importance of the foundation we are giving them, on which they will build their own future. Our Career Pathways program at Owatonna High School continues to develop and expand. Career Pathways allows our students to explore their path and envision their future education and career. Students have the opportunity to discover their interests and prepare for further educational training or work experiences within a career field. As a specific example, we currently have 17 students working at Climate by Design International, a local company doing work internationally. These students earn while they learn through the Youth Skills Training Program, gaining not only manufacturing skills, but also experiencing teamwork and personal growth as they interact with other employees. On the other end of the educational journey, I am excited to see our early learning program thrive and grow in our community. To have great community partners that work with us to reach our goal of providing quality preschool experiences for every child in our school district. We are working to expand opportunities provided to families and broaden our efforts to prepare our youngest learners to be kindergarten ready with a great foundation to build upon. I would be remiss if I didn't pause here to recognize the teaching and support staff we are so fortunate to have in Oatana, truly the cornerstone of all that we are building together. I am so grateful for our amazing staff. As we emerge from the pandemic, our staff continues to step up and step forward to provide the best learning environment to inspire excellence for our students. I have often said that working with students is a calling I am proud to be called to work in this profession alongside our fine educators as we move forward. Now that things are returning to a somewhat regular routine, we are shifting our efforts to equipping our learners and making sure that relationships between educators and students remain paramount. Our test scores in reading and math continue to show the effect the pandemic had on learning. While our test scores rank third in the Big Nine Conference, we are working diligently to improve our core instruction and our ability to respond to student needs 
through our multi-tiered systems of support. We hope our continued work will result in improved outcomes for all students this year. In our elementary schools, we are continuing to work with social emotional learning through engagement with students to reteach conversational skills, appropriate behaviors in school, and how to self-regulate. We have also been working to add more mental health practitioners at the building level to help students process experiences and learn new mental health strategies when needed. At the middle and high school levels, our counseling and social work staff are hard at work, helping students with whatever needs arise. Furthermore, we have added special options at both middle and high school levels to provide our students with opportunities to connect with teaching staff on an individual basis for extra help, while also building enrichment, service, and career building skills. One of the most exciting and visible signs of building our future is our new Owatonna High School, which was supported by our community through your vote in 2019. I'm thrilled to report that construction of our new high school is on schedule and on budget. We are so grateful for the generosity of our community that made this possible. The new Owatonna High School is designed to meet the needs of our students in an evolving global economy well into the future. As of today, the building is almost entirely enclosed. Classrooms are starting to take shape and the activities area of the building are getting closer to completion. We look forward to the building completion later this spring or early summer, and we can't wait to have the community-wide celebration and open house so that everyone can be part of that exciting new chapter in our shared history here in Owatonna. We are poised to continue to work with our local legislators to provide opportunities for tax relief for our taxpayers and to provide local controls for school boards to make the best decisions to serve our students and community. One of these proposals is equalization aid that would provide districts like Owatonna the same financial resources as other metropolitan districts without putting the strain on our local taxpayers. I will remain a strong advocate to represent our school district and community to get this work done. In closing, let me say what an honor and privilege it is to serve as your superintendent as we build our future together and continue to inspire excellence for every learner every day. Thank you for your interest in and support of our students, our staff, and our schools. Together, we are Owatonna proud.